Hello YouTube, where are you? Where have you been? <laughs> you are late. Here I'm going to set up the servo on the z-axis and you don't show up in time. So while I was waiting for you I fixed the circuitry for the brake. It throws a little bit too much current so it has to go via a relay. Yeah. So there is one of those ultra thin relays. I think it works very well. Uh, ultimately this will be controlled from the servo controller. That one over here is the one I'm going to use. But for the time being I will operate it via a switch. <laughs> you have to trust me the sound comes from there. Anyways I think that the electric coupling wasn't so interesting after all so you are forgiven for showing up late. So today this servo goes up there behind the big motor there is the servo for the z-axis. I will replace that it is belt driven now. I will put it right on top there. Well you will see. And let's see if we can spice it up here a bit here. So I have Linux CNC going. I will try to keep it going while we do this exercise. And I just switch off there and press the e stop and then we work. And we have seen it before, just loosen the quick connectors and then remove the servo. Yeah, I will be a bit of a coward and test the servo before I put it up on the z-axis. Uh, I did do some changes there with the encoder and timing and all that, so it is best to check that it works. I think it looks alright, but I have to read up a bit on the manual here. So the problem I have is that I am not able to jog the motor, which I should be able to do. Like here, and you press up and it moves a little bit. So I get E there. And I tried everything. I even went back to my other motor. To the old servo motor that is proven that it works. And I got the same response there, so that was promising. And I got another response there, that is... Um, so this displays the rotational speed and the revolution per minute, counted clockwise to 3 RPMs. So that indicates that the servo motor should go. And I checked on the other one, the working servo, and yeah, it works. And then I went back to this one and looked here. Yeah, it works as well. So I cannot see anything else that this actually works. So there are a few millivolts on that input port there for a servo input uh, that causes this. This is not a problem, this is taken out by the feedback control system later on. Uh, but it, this indicates to me that yeah, it works. And another test is to see if it is, if I can... Uh, yeah. Pull it back. Well, it is pretty stiff, not super stiff, but stiff enough, I would say. So it is clearly responding the way to do it. I think the test passed. Let's put it up there now.
So Linux CNC is still going and there is one setting I need to change and that is how fast it will go, how many millivolts or how many volts it needs to apply to do one millimeter per second and that is 48 millivolt. You can do the math if you like to. Um, and I will change, I will lower those settings here. P, I set a 1 and I will remove this one completely. And remove this one completely. This should make it work. And I did prepare the brake control signal from the driver, but for right now I will operate it with a switch. So, brake off. Yeah, let's go. And It seems to work, you don't see that, but because it stopped there, I think it worked. It should be alright to do millimeter down. Yeah, I did it. Did you see that? <laughs> it worked, it worked, it worked. And the timing and all that seems fine. So this was really great. But before ending this video, I will take a tour outdoors with you to show my other, shall say, side project. But it has turned into a really gigantic project. See you there. Yeah, so this little side project takes a lot of time. I have now got the roofing done. This is the first layer of it, which is waterproof. I will need to spend a lot of time during the vacation here, so there will be no videos for a few weeks. That is my guess here. Of course, if something pops out, then I will make a video. But uh, this little project has priority now.